Hey small group network, Kirsten here and I have another blog post for you today that's called What's Your Pulse? Now, as a small group point person, it's essential to have a pulse. We all have a pulse. Actually, you need to have a pulse if you are living, right? But maybe your watch is telling you and it's alerting you, hey, you've got a high resting rate right now. You have a high pulse. Or maybe it's alerting you, da ding, da ding, because you just conquered the three exercise rings of the day for the win and you're in great condition. Now, I wish it was that easy for our small groups, that we had a, a watch that could tell us what the pulse is of our small groups, right? But the question is, we need to know the pulse. So what is it, right? So how do we discover what that pulse is of our small groups? Because it's absolutely essential to know what's taking place in the small groups. I met with a couple of people the other day, and one chimed in and they said, you know, I just really love to lead small groups. So I primarily lead. And another one chimed in and said, I love being a participant. So I primarily am a participant in small groups. And another small group point person chimed in and said, well, wait, how do you know when to lead and when to be a participant? Because the common denominator here is the pulse of the small group point person. So who's right? Well, if we need to know what our pulse is in our small groups, it, and if you don't know your pulse, then how can you identify if your small group is actually alive, right? But I think there are two ways to go about it. And I think they're, they're pretty simple, actually. It's a bird's eye view, and then it's a worm's eye view, a boots on the ground type of view. Now, don't take offense if um, you are reading this as I'm describing you as a bird or a worm. I'm simply describing the viewpoints that you could have. A bird's eye view means that you're seeing things from an elevated perspective, that you're able to have an aerial view and see all that's taking place, a holistic view, a little bit of some activity over here and some pieces and parts over here, and you're able to see things from a visionary perspective. But the limitation here is that you can't see all of the details of every single thing that's taking place because you're so far above the ground. The opposite is the worm's eye view. They're able to see every detail of what's taking place. It means you have everything within a, cer a certain parameter where you're seeing, okay, this is what I'm able to see, and I can see that 2020. But the limited perspective here is that you can only see that parameter. You can't see beyond that. You can't see above that. So who is right? Well, they both are. Because I've learned in my life that I go through seasons of being a small group point person where I need both. There are times when I need to be able to have the rhythm of a bird's eye perspective. I need to see that whole picture. I need to know what's going on from an aerial view so that I can have the right pulse on my small groups. And then there are times where I need to be the participant because you learn something as a participant that you don't always get to learn as a leader. And so you need a balance of both. Both are the right perspective. And I would propose that most often our pulse is knowing the right time for which view. So if you're able to balance these out and have a rhythm of a bird's eye view and then a worm's eye view and then a bird's eye view and then a worm's eye view and, and however that plays out in your particular life and with your small groups, the question then really becomes, do I have a pulse? Do I know what my pulse is? Do I know when to have the bird's eye and when to have the worm's eye? Because that will then give you this accurate assessment. It'll give you this holistic view, and it'll give you a better understanding of the pulse of your groups. So do you know what your pulse is? Are you in a season where, or a rhythm where the Lord is asking you to lead? Or is he asking you to be a participant? And if you don't know, ask him and he'll show you.